Hey everybody, Vanessa here and welcome back. So today I wanna to talk all about outdoor cooking equipment. I am kind of a collector, I would say, of like little personal camping stoves, if that makes sense. So today I'm just gonna show them off. I, uh, yeah, uh, some of them I made and some of them I bought, some of them I've never even used yet. There are also some that I have gotten rid of and there's one big like grate that is buried way in our shed that I'm not gonna to go get but uh, okay so here we go I hope this is fun and it definitely will be fun for me but um, I'm sure there's a few other people out there who also love little camping stoves hiking camping outdoor cooking equipment so let's go here is just like a broad look at everything uh, these this one is part of that these here are all the ones that I made and then uh, everything else I purchased but okay, I'm gonna, I just wanted to kind of give a broad look at everything and then we're gonna sit down. I'm gonna go through them all. Okay, here we go. This should be fun. So we're um, pretty avid campers and hikers. It's just like personal, this is when I go hiking or if we're just, you know, wanting to have a cup of water, uh, a cup of coffee or something in the morning when we're camping. So here we go. I'll show, how about we go through the ones that I made first. These are just beer can uh, stoves. This one here is a double wall, which I'm pretty proud of. I don't, I don't love the way these work to kind of like hold your pan on top of because I don't know if I made it wrong or whatnot, but um, when I put a, a cup on top of this, so say if I put this on top of here, it does snuff out the flame. So I don't love that. But this is my, like, this is my pr pride and joy right here. I love this little thing. It is super efficient and it will boil a pot of water in no time and it's super lightweight and tiny. And then I just carry the fuel right here. I use heat, uh, the one in the yellow can, but you can use any kind of alcohol, uh, denatured alcohol, rubbing alcohol, anything like that. Um, yeah, so I just pour a little bit in here and then I light it and it's, like I said, it's really efficient. It burns really clean and I just love this little thing. It works so well. Okay, that's those. I actually, this is just like a backup one. I actually haven't put the felt in there yet. All right, so uh, yeah, this one um, I have not finished making yet. You really just use these two pieces and then put some uh, carbon felt in there and it's super easy. Okay, anyway. All right, so I would say my next favorite is this little setup right here. And I'll show you why. So it's like a little two sets here and it all nestles in, which is what I love about it. All right, and then this is just some cheap butane. I think this is like $5. And this is kind of like the MSR, but um, I actually found this at a yard sale for like five bucks. And if anybody knows this brand, it's very expensive. But I haven't actually used it yet because I'm thinking about uh, listing it on like eBay or something and selling it. But um, yeah, this is basically the same thing. You just, you know, stick it on here and then it self lights, see? And yeah, it cooks, this thing, this is, this is pretty powerful. It's never given me a hard time. Uh, it works pretty much every time. And yeah, it's really lightweight and I really love this little thing. So this is probably like my favorite setup here and it holds the pot of water pretty nicely. And yeah, I really like this little setup. It's lightweight and it works, which is great for when you're out there camping, you know? Okay, let me put this away. I love that everything kind of nestles together. And then I just have this little cleaning cloth and I usually also add like this little this little spoon. I was gonna say titanium, but it's not. It's just like a little, I don't know, metal spoon. Yeah, oh, I just broke that. No, I didn't, it'll go back together. But yeah, see so everything kind of nestles together all nicely in there. And then I put it in here. Thing you would need right here to cook with and it's only, I don't know, it's really, really lightweight, so. Okay, put that over there. This is my Stanley and it's reliable. This this piece, and there's a lot of other people that have this issue where this piece melts, but uh, yeah, this is very heavily used. I usually put this right on the fire when we're camping to boil, whatever. Uh, okay, so that's all that. I haven't used this one yet, so I'll just show you what it is. This is also an alcohol stove. So you just, you put the alcohol, 
in there and you light it. It's supposed to be a pretty nice alcohol stove and then that goes in like that. I actually bought this with the intention of being able to use one of these a bit, one of my homemade ones. So I thought that this would be a nice stand, but it doesn't fit. It won't fit, my Stanley won't fit on top of it. So that was like such a bummer. I thought it was gonna fit, but it doesn't. This one, this is just like a little cheap uh, Tokes, I guess, makes like a really good one, but this is just a cheap Walmart version. And that kind of fits. I don't know if you can tell, but that kind of fits. But um, yeah, I was kind of bummed about that. But yeah, I have not actually used this little one yet, but it's supposed to be like a Trangia. It's supposed to be, um, like a dupe for the Trangia. But I like I like that it, you know, if you put the alcohol in there, you can snuff it out and then you can also hold on to the alcohol after. So I like that. Which you cannot do with this homemade one, which is so unfortunate. I'm sure there's a way that I can try to figure something like that out, but um, yeah. All right, so you saw my pocket rocket. Uh, like I said, I have not used this one yet. I am deciding whether I want to sell it or not. But how beautiful is that? And it's actually much bigger and heavier than this little cheap one that I found on Amazon. So yeah, there's also that. But I've heard that these pocket rockets are really good. I don't know how much better they would be than the one I already have though. So yeah, I probably will be selling that at some point. So uh, these, I have used this one a couple of times. I don't love to use these. These are like for fuel, for like the little fuel pods. Here we go. I, um, I have more, but they kind of stink. So once it's opened out of the package, and even in the package, but once it's opened out of the package, it will stink up your bag and all of your stuff. So I don't love to use these, but um, I have also heard that you can just put like wood in here, like little sticks in here and you can use it that way, but I can't imagine I would ever need to do that. But I do, I like them because they hold my pots pretty well, see? They hold either of my pots pretty well. So I thought that that was cool about them. They're okay. The fuel, the, it, it takes a long time to uh, boil a pot of water. So I don't love it. Of course, these two are the fastest. These will boil water the fastest. So, you know, it all just depends, I guess, on what you're looking for. But I like to have them because they're cool. And like I said, I just like to collect this stuff, but I really don't use them anymore. Okay, so that's all of that. Let's see, what's next? This I just thought was cool. It's, you know, you put in one of the tea lights and it really just keeps things warm. I found this also at a uh, thrift store, I believe, for like a couple bucks, so I bought it. I just thought it was kind of cool. Oh, these are the nesting cups that go in the Stanley, uh, right in here. So the other way I could use this is I could just pop it in there in the Stanley and where's my spoon? I don't know. And then the spoon would go in there and then there you go. Your whole cooking system is right here, which is nice. I have my husband actually just bought me this. This is a titanium, titanium spoon, titanium spoon that my husband just bought me for my birthday uh, last month, I believe. So this is really cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. Titanium Japan. It says, I don't know if you can read that, but I thought that, that was really cool. And then I have this. This is really for freeze-dried meals. The Mountain House meals, it's good to use something like this to get all the way under there. But this goes with me anytime I'm camping or hiking or anything. And I also recently bought this at the thrift store. I believe this was, oh gosh, can you even see it? Wait, it's like with the lighting, it's kind of all crazy. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Can you see that? There you go. Can you see that now? I found this for like a couple of bucks. I haven't used this yet because I just think it's so cool. And um, this is incredibly lightweight. I would imagine this is very expensive uh, if I were to buy it new. So, but it's beautiful. It's, I mean, it's feather. It's like feather light. It's so light. And it it's, uh, comes with this little, for tea, this little uh, strainer here for tea. So yeah, you put the tea in here and then you can cook it, but it's just too beautiful. I don't wanna um, mess it up too much. I certainly wouldn't put this on an open fire. I might use it with, 
I might use it with this because this burns so clean. It really doesn't leave any kind of marks, but I would consider using it with that. But yeah, this is just so beautiful. I don't want to mess it up just yet. <laughs> All right, this is just a cool little bowl that I bring when we go camping or hiking. It's really lightweight. It just pops out. I wouldn't put anything really too hot in here because I'm, I'm always scared that it's going to seep, kind of like ruin the material or seep right through. This is also just a cheap one from Walmart. I have been wanting to buy the, uh, the name brand one like this that's supposed to be really, really good. But the, I mean, this stuff is expensive. So I'm just gonna use up what I have for now. This, <laughs> This is just something fun, and this is probably going into like a different category, but uh, these are just like little mini fire uh, ferro rods, just little mini like ferro rods. But um, yeah, I've been working on building like little uh, emergency kits out of the little tin cans. I don't know if you can see that, let's see. Out of like little tin cans, so I, I've been collecting little things like this. I just think that they're fun. This is cool and fun. So yeah, this is the Bayrite. I I don't actually know um, how to start a fire with them yet. I've tried it a couple of times, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. Just, you know, getting, getting better every day at different things. And then this is really cool. This I bought at Walmart. It's a, a utensil strainer. I believe this was like four or five dollars. And what I do is I just fill it with sticks and, uh, you know, little pieces of wood, leaves, whatever, and start a fire right in here. So if I don't want, like, a big roaring fire when we're camping or even outside and we just want, like, just something small to sit by, this works so unbelievably well. You really, I mean, I would definitely recommend getting something like this if you, you know, go camping and you don't want to start those big, huge fires. It's really lightweight. It packs up. It's also nest pretty well so I can put um, I can put my cup and then this and then store all of this together it is dirty it does make a little bit of a mess and it, it looks like it's rusting a little bit as well so I don't know I'm sure there's like a spray that you can buy to stop that which uh, if I buy another one of these I'll probably do but yeah this this is such a cool little thing it's so much fun so even my like kids like to do it you know my, my oldest will just fill it with sticks if she just wants to have like a quick fire outside and yeah it's really really cool all right uh this I bought also at a yard sale I want to say maybe some kind of ceramic or cast iron but it's very very heavy and I thought it would make a cool almost uh, like Dutch oven so you know if you if I wanted to bake something while I was out camping of course you can't bring this hiking or anything it's very heavy but if I ever wanted to try baking something on a fire I thought that this might be a really neat way to do so so uh, yeah I'll be looking forward to trying this maybe next season and then I bought this big pan. I also found this at the same place, uh, the flea market, and I thought this would also be kind of cool to, you know, cook large amounts of food on an open fire. And yeah. All right, well, that is everything. So that's everything. That's how all of my like camping and outdoor cooking equipment and stoves. Uh, like I said, I do have other things that I have either gotten rid of or replaced or don't use anymore or just can't find at the moment. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. It was so much fun for me to do. Like, And I will tell you, I think this all started because uh, we went camping a few years ago and um, I woke up in the morning and it had rained and it Everything was soaked, all the wood was wet, and I didn't have any other way of making coffee, and I wanted a coffee so bad, I wanted a hot coffee so bad, and it took me like over an hour to start a fire that day. I was so miserable, I was so mad, and I was like, you know what, this will never happen to me again, and literally from that day, I've just been collecting different ways to cook, to boil water outside when I don't have any other way. Uh, okay, so like I said, there are other things I use. I have grill outside, and one of those big, heavy grates. We don't do that anymore, but yeah, we still go camping at least a handful of times every single year. We love it so much. This year we went only like twice, I think. We went once for one week and then, no, we went three times. We went once for one week and then two long weekends only because everything that's going on, it's been really hard to even find 
uh, camping spots this year because everything has just all like the rules are really rigid and uh, the availability isn't as good as it used to be. But anyway, I've been talking long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what your favorite means of cooking fire, uh, cooking outdoors is. And uh, yeah, I think that would be really interesting, really fun to hear what you guys do. And I will talk to everybody next time. Thank you.